DoorDash is coming out with a lot of gimmicks this summer. Check out the one that they're attempting to introduce in my market on this segment of the Gig Geezer. It is Wednesday, June 29, 2022. But if this is your first time checking out the Gig Geezer, hey, thanks for coming by. And if you would not mind, hit that subscribe button. Give my content a thumbs up. Share my content among others. And I definitely welcome your comments in the section below. And if you're a returning visitor of the Gig Geezer, hey, thanks for coming back. Yesterday evening, June 28, I got an email from DoorDash. And the in bold headline, it was Earn by Time. Um, DoorDash, and I'm paraphrasing at least to this point, which they wanted to try a data, they want to try a beta program in which you can earn $12.50 an hour while driving and keep all your tips. Now, that sounds like to me where DoorDash is giving you the option of opting in to become a paid employee. Basically, what one of the big fusses about um, DoorDash and some of these gig apps is that they're trying to they're trying to nudge you into it could force you into accepting all the orders that come your way. If not, then you could be you can you can um, ex you may encounter certain penalties for doing that, or you may miss out on certain incentives. And I'm gonna get a little further into that. Now, my first thought when I saw this is um, DoorDash and many of the gig apps have been um, getting pushback and resistance from people who who, claim, who say that they're not making any money. They're making, ab they're in abject poverty, uh, working far well below minimum wage. And depending on how you, depending on how you spin and crunch your numbers, it could very well be that a person is making less than minimum wage. Well, last I checked, the federal the federal minimum wage is like seven dollars and twenty five cent an hour. Although in some states and municipalities, the minimum wage is fifteen dollars an hour. Um, either way, I know that I could not live on fifteen dollars an hour. I just couldn't. Um, and quite honestly. As far back as 2000, between 2010 and 2012, I actually worked at a job at a call center here um, at the at the health insurance company, um, making eleven dollars and change an hour, and that place was worse than working in a third world sweatshop. I was ball and chained to a phone bank to a phone. And if I spent 20 seconds to catch my breath after being bombarded with phone calls, there was the potential that a supervisor would be chiming in and saying, "Hey, why aren't you on the phones? Get back on the get back on the phones." And I'm not and I'm not and I'm not exaggerating. This had that had happened. Um, yes, they they monitored you that closely. In fact, they said that if you went on a bathroom break beyond seven minutes, um, you know you're. You, you could face uh, disciplinary action. Uh, and this was spelled out in the employee um, handbook, if you will, for lack of better words. So I made like, I didn't even, um, $11 an hour, translated about two Gs a month. And um, I took that job because of the last recession, the 2008 to 2010 recession, I lost over 70% of my business as an insurance agent, whereby some of my biggest clients had closed their doors. And I went, other, with pressure by other external financial forces, I had to find a W-2 at the time, okay? And that job, I hated that job. I mean, I despised that job. I cursed debt that job when I woke up, I cursed that job. When I arrived there, I cursed that job. While I was there, I cursed that job after work. And I would go as far as to say that that job altered my personality. For the stuff that I put up with, for that, 
paltry sum of money, it was not worth it. Now, fortunately over time, I have been in a position where I've made more money. And, and of course, with me talking about the Gig Geezer channel, doing gig economy work, I made, I made like, what, 22000 a year doing that job. Well, hell, I've already made 36000 it's it let, and it's we're not out of June, and I've already made thirty six thousand this year alone. That should tell you something. It would have taken me three and a half years to make the same money that I'm making right now, or even made in two thousand twenty one or in two thousand twenty. So, that should give you some context as to what DoorDash is doing. Earn by time and keep the tips. $12.50 an hour, but you keep all the tips. Now we know, we know that over 90% of the orders, I would venture to say 95% of the orders that come across our screen are lowball bogus tip orders. And what I mean by bogus tip, uh, 50 cent, $1, $2. This is nothing more than a way into forcing you to accept all the orders. Now, those of us who, who've been on DoorDash app since 2019 and before know about how DoorDash used to do its peak pay incentive. Peak pay, if you wanted to qualify for that $1 or $1.50 or $2, $3, $4, $5, whatever it was in your market, um, what you had to do within that time frame, let's say it was from 6 in the evening until 9 in the evening, you had to accept and complete 80% of your, um, of your, um, you had to accept and complete 80% of the orders that came your way. So you had to maintain an 80% acceptance rate to even qualify for that funky little $1, $2, $3, fifty cent, whatever that number was. And I think that's where um, I had the experience of where I was trying to get that extra $1.50, $2 per order whereby DoorDash sent me into another zone. So that meant I accepted an order, and in fact, I remember it, I remember it vividly. It was, a, it was a Chick-fil-A order. I accepted it in Lexington, but I had to go all the way over into the east part of Richland County, driving, I, I wanna say, a, just about 20 miles just to the restaurant, and then another, three to five three miles to the drop-off location and i got paid three dollars and fifty cent i would not have done that if i if i knew that i was going to, if i would not have accepted that during ride share with the personal history and i guess you say the little rant about that doordash says that okay Depending on whatever the amount is, it's going to be based on your market. In my market, they're saying twelve dollars and fifty cent an hour. In another, in another market, it'd be fourteen dollars an hour. Now, I also have um, I saw recently on another driver's um, channel, he said that they they're offering this beta program in which you are guaranteed two dollars a mile on your order and keep all the tips. So all of these all, these are all little gimmicks that DoorDash is doing to it, to um, incentivize you or dupe you, which is probably the more correct word, dupe you into accepting all these orders. It's almost, it's it's a repackaged top dasher program, a repackaged top thirsty program. Um, now, the catch is, in this repackaged thirsty program, and that's what I'm calling it. You can only decline one order per hour, or you will be you'll be relegated back to the earn as usual pay, which is what we are on right now. For for further clarification, according to DoorDash, with that with that one do, one decline per hour, if you decline more than one order, they will end your dash. They will end your shift. And then you will have to get back into the app and then you will be relegated to supposedly 
earning as usual um earn per or earn per delivery now we don't know does that mean if they if will they be withholding the better paying orders in the process in the process as well are they are they going to be doing something like that um meaning that okay you've got to accept if you got i remember in an early gig geezer segment i showed where i turned down 50 consecutive orders across all the apps that i was working before i had accepted one order that was worth my while and we know with doordash if it gets busy you can get a rapid fire 50 orders in about 20 minutes and then over a course of an hour that translates into what 150 orders so you're they're telling me now conceivably you're going to complete probably two three orders per hour okay so that means they're counting on you accepting probably three orders per hour maybe four orders because you may be forced into accepting um these two dollar fifty cent orders these double stacked orders for three dollars or four dollars or whatever that amount is the point is that my question is are you are they also going to withhold the better paying orders are they going to be withholding the higher paying orders are they going to be withholding the catering bag order uh, catering bag orders or is this just the normal um, on-demand stuff? We don't know. But whatever it is, obviously DoorDash is into its usual trickerations and manipulation and mind games, creating a subterfuge, a word that I've used before. So they're, they're into creating this subterfuge, which means a, basically a bad joke of a situation. Um, in which you will be, you'll be, you, there are those who probably will accept this, this type of earn by time um, setup, thinking that, hey, I'm guaranteed at least $12.50 an hour. But let's look at $12.50 an hour. $12.50 an hour translates into $25,000 a year. $12.50 an hour was on the bottom, was on the bottom tier. Um, if memory serves me correct, if the average delivery driver makes $18 an hour, if memory serves me correct, the bottom tier, bottom 25%, bottom 25 percentile were those who made $12.50 an hour, which then really, um, if that's assuming if you don't get any tips now, that tells me that you are likely to, um, The numbers don't, it, some, this doesn't sound right. Now, let's think this thing through another way, okay? DoorDash has said that drivers make anywhere between $24, $25 an hour, but that's based on the active time. That's based on the time in which you um, accept an order and then complete an order. It does not include the dash time, which is what most people who count dollars per hour use. Okay, and I've shared, and I've gone over that before in, the, in another gig user segment. In fact, that's the uh, that's the thumbnail uh, to that segment right there. Okay, so um, there are dr a lot of drivers aren't making twenty four, twenty five dollars an hour. A lot of them aren't, and then a lot of them are, and I'll just I'll just leave it at that. But if you think about it. The average person is going to complete anywhere between two to three orders per hour. If you start completing four orders or more per hour, a lot of the dominoes have to fall the right way. Um, it has to be the right distance. The orders have to be ready upon arrival. Um, the person whom you're dropping off to, if they're asking for you to hand it to them, they've got to be meeting you at the door or what have you. Um, there's there are, there are a lot of factors that traffic has to go your way. So there are other ex external factors that go into why I say two to three um, orders per hour is what you're likely to complete. So it is conceivable that someone who accepts all the orders as it is, it is likely that they could make. In fact, it would not surprise me that DoorDash has calculated that in this market, my market, the average person who accepts all the orders is probably making the $12.50 an hour, okay? They know that. But they're saying, as an incentive, 
you still get 100% of all the tips. We also know that DoorDash does not, I've already established the fact that DoorDash manipulate the numbers for um, to make it sound impressive to its investors and maybe to media. But if you but if you really look into the numbers, they aren't what they, they say, um, what they say the numbers are. Folks, do your own research, do your own math, make the best decision that you know possible. Now, I just want to provide an actual example with this earn by time, keep the tips uh, sales pitch by DoorDash. What I've provided here and in said are three consecutive orders that came across my screen during my first half hustle today. The orders were $2.50 from American Deli. The next one was four dollars from uh if memory serves me correct it's either chilies or uh chick-fil-a and then the next one is two dollars and fifty cent from uh, the the one for four dollars is from chick-fil-a the one for two dollars and fifty cent is from chilies now all these orders were all with now all these orders were in the same somewhat of a geographic area if I use the example with DoorDash, um, saying that you earn $12.50 an hour because these three orders could all conceivably, conceivably be completed within an hour, I would get $12.50 minimum. Then um, we would figure out which order is likely to have tipped. The one that's likely to have tipped is the Chick-fil-A order that offered $4. And more than likely the most that you would see on a four dollar order in terms of tips is probably a dollar and fifty cent since the minimum in the columbia market is two dollars and fifty cent and the minimum for a double stacked order in the columbia market is four dollars now i earned just a tick over 105 dollars in 4.25 hours that came out to just south of 25 dollars an hour not the not the most not the not the greatest first half hustle but it, it's put me in a position to earn two hundred dollars or more when i can factor in my first and second half hustles okay so now if i use the twelve dollar fifty cent example the likelihood of a dollar fifty cent tip if i were to multiply uh 14 times four that's fifty six dollars and then 0.25 is three dollars and fifty cents so that means that i would have earned just 59 i would have projected out to 59 dollars and fifty cent over the same amount of time just using that example now um i had now i did complete two doordash orders during my first half hustle one paid twelve dollars and fifty cent and there was a seven dollar and fifty cent tip the other was um, it, uh, it offered $7.50, but it paid $8.25. And um, so the tip on the second order was like $5. Okay. Now, these two orders were not within the same hour. So, even if I were to try to dress this up even more, okay. So that means, let's say the first hour, $14. Second hour, $20 because of the $7.50 tip. The third hour, uh, seventeen dollars and fifty cent. So we're at we're at thirty four dollars. We're at fifty one dollars and fifty cent. And let's just say that it was a ten dollar ten dollars in tips that I was able to keep with the other one. Okay. So we're at fifty one dollars and change. Fifty one fifty, and then twenty two fifty. That's only seventy four dollars. Even if I were to dress it up like that. So moving on, the one thing that I did not mention, let's just say that there was, there were no other orders, but that's four hours. And so let's just say for, to make it even now, 4.25 hours, and let's say nothing else came across in those 15 minutes. So now um, one quarter of $12.50 is 
$3.125. So let's just say $3.15. So we're at $77. I'll even give you $78. $78 compared to $105 doesn't sound all that good. But you also got to remember too, let's just say that there was another offer that just happened to come by and you turn it down. Okay, you're at, you cannot turn down no more than one offer within that hour. If you turn down more than one offer, you're going to be booted out of your shift and you're going to have to try to get back in if there are any slots available. So that in a way is a pe double penalty because you're not making any money, and then there's a chance that you may not be able to get on until you, if you don't, if you've not scheduled any shifts, if you try to get back on, you're out of luck. And that's just, that's, that's an actual realistic example with this gig geezer. These are some of the things that I quickly thought through as, uh, before I came out with this gig geezer segment. And so, if you like the content that's been provided in this segment of the Gig Geezer or in any other segment of the Gig Geezer, hit that subscribe button. Give my content a thumbs up. Share my content among others. And I definitely welcome your comments in the section below. I'm Inwood Lane. And as always, may your hustle and may your grind continue.